I'm a researcher at ETH Zurich at the Institute for Machine Tools and Manufacturing. We are building systems for really working through virtual environments. So what you can do, you wear a wearable simulator, and by really walking in a room, in a physical room, you're walking through a virtual environment. The system is useful for many situations where you want to train or where you want to have a look at an environment before it's being built. For instance, you can have a look at your own house when it's designed but not built yet. In order to construct such a system, a wearable virtual reality simulator, you need three main components. A head-mounted display, in the tracking system that consists of a camera that looks up to the ceiling and sees paper fiducials that are like barcodes and these barcodes are stored together with their position on the computer, the third component, and then the computer can calculate the position of the user's head, renders the scene and projects it again back to the user on the head mounted display. The main problem is with this setup that when the room room is actually bigger, the virtual room that you want to walk through, than the room you really in, the, the real room. Now we can apply a simple trick that's called a redirection. When the user is walking along this trajectory, he would walk this path in the real room, so he would collide with the, real, with the wall here. What we can do, we can inject small rotations while he is continuously walking along this path. So what happens, the user compensates this and walks on a curved path. When he does a 90 degree turn, or he believes he does a 90 degree turn in the virtual environment, he's turned much more in the real environment, maybe about 120 degrees, and walks back again this path. This way you can basically compress a bigger virtual environment into a real room that's smaller. Such a system has many applications. You can use it for training environments, simulation environments, or if you want to prepare assembly lines. So we have industry partners that are interested in using the system for planning assembly lines before they're being built so they can actually test the layout by really walking through it to see if it's good or not or if they have to re remove or replace some components. A big advantage of the system is that it's re it feels real. So you feel like you're really in this virtual world. Really walking is something we do every day. That's our main way of navigation.